Watch the video till the end as we tell you how a dog's brain works and some simple games you can play to help increase your dog's smarts and turn your dog into a genius. So, before moving further, please like this video and subscribe to our channel so that you don't miss our upcoming amazing videos. All right, let's dive in. How a dog's brain works. In reality, dogs have complex minds. Canines can dream, experience many different emotions, and understand our body language and vocal tones. Recent studies have found that dogs are more intelligent than previously thought. Even though there is still a lot about dogs' brains that remain a mystery to us, we do know some interesting facts. Dog and human brains are structurally similar, but dogs have smaller brains. Dogs rely on smell much more than other pets, and 40% of their brain is used to analyze different scents. Dogs are known for their loyalty, and science has proved it. They prioritize their owner's scent over everything else. Dogs can count, understand up to 150 words, and are thought to be as intelligent as two-year-old children. You see, it's not all treats and belly rubs. All dogs have active minds, and they are wired to pick up on our cues, whether they're vocal or non-verbal. That's why, with the right technique, every dog can be successfully trained. Some simple games you can play to help increase your dog's smarts and turn your dog into a genius. Number one, pick a hand. This is a good trick for teaching your dog to pay attention to you and follow your instructions, and is fairly simple to teach. The idea is that you will show the dog which hand you have a treat in, but teach her that she has to pick the hand you name regardless of where the treat is hidden. The trick is a bit more advanced, so it shouldn't be the first one you teach. But if your dog is sufficiently motivated by the reward, she should pick it up eventually. Show the treat and hide it in your hand. Then hold both of your hands in front of the dog while repeating which hand you want her to choose. For example, your left. When she touches the correct hand with her nose or her paw, your choice, then she gets the treat. Try to vary it so that sometimes you're naming the hand with the treat and sometimes you're not. Keep in mind that this trick can be very confusing to your dog at first, so watch for signs that she's becoming frustrated, in which case you'll want to start with the treat in the hand you name most of the time until she seems confident on the difference between the right and left. Number two, stop and go. Before this game, your dog should already have a mastery of the commands sit, stay, and come. Work in an area where your dog can be safely off leash, or at least where you don't have to hold his leash if you'd prefer to have a quick way to step in and stop him. Next, get your dog to chase a toy, ideally one with some kind of rope or line attached, so that you can pull it from a distance. Then, while your dog is chasing the toy, give them the command to sit or stay. If they ignore the command, withdraw the toy and put them in a sit. If the dog does sit on your command, then give them the okay to go immediately. Number three, hide and seek. This one doesn't require very much explanation because it's exactly what it sounds like. Although you can choose between hiding a treat or other scented objects somewhere or hiding yourself and seeing how long it takes your dog to find you. Depending on how easily you can get your dog to sit and stay while you go hide, you may need another person to help with the game. It also works indoors or out, so you can play no matter what the weather is like. Number four, hidden treasure. Nose, eyes, ears, that's the order in which a dog perceives the world. And this game is all about the sense of smell. It can also be a good starter if you ever want to get your dog into search and rescue training. Basically, your dog is going to be using his nose to find the hidden treats. When starting out the game, Begin by having your dog sit and stay, and then show him where you've hidden the treat amongst a few small boxes. Once he gets the hang of finding the treat that he's seen you hide, make it a little more difficult. Don't let him see where you've hidden the treat. Increase the number of boxes, or find a hiding place that can mask the smell, like with an old sock. If you want to vary things or add more incentives, reward your dog with a high-value treat for finding the hidden regular treat. Number five, old dog, new trick. The simplest way to boost your dog's intelligence is to teach him a trick or command he doesn't know yet, while ignoring the tricks that he does know. As with teaching your dog any new tricks, 
the most important props are positive rewards and patience, and your best tool is instinct. That is, if you're trying to teach your dog to shake, don't grab their paw to try to make him get the idea. Instead, wait for him to move his paw, then reward that. As he associates a reward with the action, he should become more definite with his paw movements until he's performing shake and thinking it was his idea. A variation on this one, which is good if your dog already knows a lot of tricks, is no repeat. That is, reward your dog for performing a trick he already knows. But then, don't let him repeat any tricks during the training period, which should last no more than 30 minutes, so you don't overtax your dog's mind. This will also help him improve his memory, since he has to remember what he's done already and try something else. Number 6. Muffin Ball Creating a mental challenge for your dog doesn't have to be that complicated or expensive. For this one, you probably have most of the parts already around the house or can find them at the local dollar store. All you need is a muffin or cupcake pan, some tennis balls and treats. Start by holding a few treats in some of the cups in the pan, then filling them with the balls, which should be just the right size to fit the openings and cover the treats. Then let your dog try to find the treats and figure out that you'll have to move the tennis balls to get to them. Best of all, this costs a lot less than commercially available hide treat toys. Number 7. Shell Game This is exactly what it sounds like and a variation of hide and seek. Although shells are strictly optional and you'll probably want to use something bigger, the important part is that you have three covers that your dog can't see through. Hide a treat under one of the covers and start by just letting your dog figure out that she has to knock over or move only that one cover to get the treat. Once she's mastered this part, you can then shuffle the covers after you've hidden the treat. Note that she doesn't get a reward for cheating by knocking over the wrong cover, or more than one. She only gets the treat when she picks the right one on the first try. Number 8. Name that toy There's still some disagreement on how many words the average dog can learn. A lot of estimates put it around 165, although several dogs have tested higher, with a current record holder, a border collie named Chaser, demonstrated knowledge of 1,022 words. Fortunately, you probably don't have that many toys lying around, so your dog is probably perfectly capable of learning the names of all of his. The goal is to teach your dog to bring you a particular toy when you ask for it by name. The secrets are repetition and consistency. You have to repeat the name in association with the particular toy until your dog will select the right one every time but you also have to use the same name for each toy every time. You can't say, bring me the blue ball sometimes and bring me the ball others, because this will confuse him. Thanks for watching this video. We hope you liked our video. Don't forget to give a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button if you don't want to miss more of our exciting videos.